Hello everyone, this is Glossius and I'm back with another video and today we're going to be introducing this three space invasion and how to deal with it. And a quick shout out to my website, seansgogroup.com. We are only two members away from my next goal in which I will be doing a simul on stream for all of you guys. All right, so after our opponent invades, the first thing we want to think about is I have a weak stone. At double digit Q, when we have a weak stone, our first thought is run away. However, at single digit Q, we start thinking about trying to utilize our opponent's weakness to defend ourselves. So in this case, we can actually apply a little bit of offense strategy first. Our first instinct for that is run away while surrounding. This move looks like it could be a good move, and in some cases it actually is. But the common move is actually this attach. This attach is a little bit counterintuitive because you're not supposed to touch single stone. But in this case, touching makes both sides strong, and you actually want to play defense here, so both sides getting strong actually does work quite well. White's response is now usually going to be defense. So, expand my eye space. This clamp right here is the next move. We don't want to crawl because then we push black into our own corner. So the clamp is the move. Now here is a very important tricky point because if you don't know it, it's very easy to fall apart here. The next move for black is actually here. So let's talk about why. Locally, black wants to fix and then white can fix. If we go here, however, and white cuts, now white's left side has been damaged. So white wants to block. However, after blocking right here, black has this nice Tsuji, the tiger's mouth. Here, if white blocks, there's a double Atari. This is a very big blunder for white. So white must fix, and now black can cut. So you can see the position actually falls apart if you don't know how to respond to this move. The response is actually just extend down. Now white can Atari and block, connect, fix, and jump. This way black gets even more influence than before. I want to emphasize if you do not know this move, just connect is basic. The entire point of this top side is white can make life on the inside and black will get a lot of influence. Now that we know the basic idea, we also want to check what happens if white doesn't play the basic idea. If white plays right here and tries to cut black off, black should cut back. Then we have the Atari. And you see white actually has less liberties and black is still looking like they're going to get a good bit of influence. A simple move is play like this. Another option to consider is the double haunting. This sometimes will work, sometimes won't. So you can see here, you cannot be pushed to the edge. So white will usually extend, gain liberties, we can squeeze, and then just survive. This feels very nice for black. There's also the option of considering the connection. If we connect right here, white is still unsettled, and black has both A and B as local follow-ups. The idea here being, this honey is likely going to be good for black. This move is the normal move to consider. The first response to consider is Atari on the outside and surround my opponent. From here, we can actually surround white, and trade the territory for the influence. And there's still a lot of Aji in this area. The other option is to play like this to keep getting influence. But here you can see this is not nearly as nice as the first variation we looked at where black was really thick and had a lot of influence. Here, black has cutting points in their influence. When you play this wedge, it is very important to know that white must have two ladders. This is because if black chooses to counterattack with this move and then capture this stone, here's the first ladder. Black can also choose to defend that ladder. And then here's the second ladder. If black doesn't have the ladder, black can connect like this, but this is considered a little good for white because white got all the influence and black just got some territory. This is not what black wanted out of this position. So again, for this wedge, you need two ladders. If you do not have the ladders, this is the move. Lastly, if you do want to support the top position later in the game, the move is this jump. This jump will make dealing with this invasion a lot easier. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed.